So the other packs and uh, modes have been uh, pretty miserable lately, but it's, so it's nice to have a weekly that is actually uh, playable. And um, in this one, I, uh, I decided to take some stoats and just gamble and see what I would get uh, on turn five. Um, I do that quite a lot, and generally that results in a lot of um, busted runs where you get uh, useless stuff out of the stoats that's not really going to help you. I also take the starfish here um, and I get a second clownfish and that just means when I sell the stoats I'll get a little bit of buffs and I actually get the third clownfish um, from the stoat which I, I had thought about trying to do five clownfish in this um, this weekly it's prob I'm sure it's possible um, but I decided uh, I would rather just uh, level them up and then try and get some other kind of build going so we get a huge injection of stats there from the level two clown um i think when you combine if you take two base stats clownfish and combine them together um you uh, well i guess you have to have three don't you you're you're normally going to be four f four five but then you also add the four four from the uh from the level up so you immediately sort of it's like skipping a couple of turns of scaling. Um, it's so good. But then obviously once you get it to level two, it's much harder to, to get it to level three and get the next uh, sort of injection of stats. So here I take the tropical fish, which uh, it's not great, but you know, it's a weekly, you've just got to take what's available. And um, the starfish is, uh, is not gonna be around much longer, I, I don't think. And I get another clownfish. And at this point, I'm still considering going for all clownfish. So you can see I go back to doing a little bit of uh, buy selling. And uh, people did point out in the last video that I missed uh, Hercules Beetle. And it's just one of these ones that I'm very inconsistent with. You know, I think at this point, everyone is conditioned to look for pig and uh, and beaver and the rest of them. But um, Hercules Beetle, for some reason, I just uh, uh, really um, notice. And here <laughs> we lose to... Um, Badger in the back with honey, bit of a pack one throwback there. But um, I guess honey's in this is in every weekly. So if badger appears, then you know your quid's in. And we do get the uh, next clownfish. So this is a pretty, even though it's turn eight, it's still a pretty solid looking team. Um, I, I'm holding the pill just for uh, for turtle, and I end up just giving up on it because. I think at this point I'd record I already recorded a, a few games where uh, I had turtle in the team and I just wanted to do something different. Unfortunately, here we go against the mantis at the back with uh, the turtle and um, it's a loss. And now we're down to uh, lethal, which is um, not amazing. And again, the stoat lets me down with the buy sell, so I decide just to give up on the buy sell and um, take the level here. I think, you know, if you were going for the five, maybe you wouldn't take the level there, but you know, on one heart, it's basically do or die. So you got to got to get the stats right now. And we go against level three otter, which uh, you're going to see all the time when you uh, have a weekly with otter in it. Get rid of starfish, which is ironic because the uh, zebra is a buy sell unit, but I'd rather just not have the zebra buffs hit the... Um, hit the starfish itself so we get a, a very nice um double zebra there and then also a cow but you know this team has no abilities we need to find something quickly that's actually gonna be able to carry this over the line and um we get a bit lucky with some matchups here with the uh, with the uh, sea turtle plus lizard um reasonable early game combo not very good later on so now I'm I'm just browsing really, trying to think of something, and here we get walrus, and also white tiger in the same role. So I decide, let's just throw them both up front. That will mean that the walrus will get the level up from the white tiger plus a huge amount of stats from uh, the clownfish. I'm actually match against a three squad on turn eleven. That's pretty rare. Um, and I also immediately get the insta level on the walrus, which is amazing because now the walrus is going to be level three and it's also going to get the buffs from the 
the clownfish. It's going to get plus 12, 12 from the clownfish and plus 3, 3 uh, from white tiger um, because the chocolate, uh, the experience from the white tiger also gives the plus 1 per chocolate. So I, then even with the pill frozen, I think I was contemplating pilling the walrus, but there's not really any benefit because especially with a pack with lionfish in it, you can end up with your uh, peanut getting overwritten by um, by the weakness. So here we're guaranteed to get triple uh, peanut on the back three units. The only slight caveat there is that there is crocodile, so the back unit could get sniped. Um, so I should probably put something on it to protect it, but we, we don't find any. I think there is garlic. Um, we'll, we'll see sooner or later. But um, this front unit, they're going to have Doberman second position, which is not going to work out very well when uh, um, we've got uh, Peanut. Now, um, the, you could see there that the now that the third position clownfish is getting leveled by um, the white tiger, it's also getting, um, it's, it's not going to be plus 12, I think it's plus 14, 14, because it's now going to be level 3. Plus, it's also getting the, the plus three from the white tiger. So it, as you can see, it's getting very close to 50-50. And then, um, unfortunately here, there's going to be a draw because of uh, walrus. You find that a lot in weekly packs where, where walrus exists. You're, you know, if you go into the later rounds, you're facing a lot of teams that have pilled walrus or have walrus. And that just results in a lot of um, death touch versus death touch gameplay, which ends up uh, in ties, especially when Mantis is also in the pack. So you can see here's another walrus team. Unfortunately, our back clownfish does get um, sniped, so that means we lose some stats and also uh, the uh, the level up, um, but it doesn't really matter. The build is um, very strong, despite the fact that we've been on lethal for so long. Um, and I, I think here I was just looking to level the walrus because I, the white tiger... Um, Although it doesn't, you know, if, if it's a level three, it can't go beyond level three. However, because of the change when the golden pack came out, um, you can actually still buff units beyond um, level three with, within battle chocolate. So uh, the walrus would get still get the, the plus three, three from the white tiger. But we almost get to um, to max level anyway. However, it's not going to matter because none of these teams are going to stand up to the absolute fountain of stats and the um, the death touch as well. So the 2-2 two, two retriever and the clownfish at the end, uh, it's an easy win. Kind of a very strong build. Um, clownfish, obviously a very strong unit, but it's definitely very fun to see the stats go flying when the white tiger activates.